Hello everybody, welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain analytical geometry, more specifically the circle with the center MAB. We will look at the proof of the center radius formula. I will show you how to determine the equation of the circle and give the midpoint of the circle written in the center radius form. This is lesson 2 of 6. Have you subscribed yet? You can also visit my website onlinemaths.co.za. The link is in the comments below. There you will find all the chapters in the syllabus. Let's start with the maths. Now the formula for the circle not centered at the origin is equal to x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. And this value a and b, that will be the coordinate of the midpoint. Now let me show you where the formula comes from. Suppose b, the point x, y, is a point anywhere on a circle with the center M, A, B, and the radius R. Then, from the distance formula, we can say that P, M squared is equal to X minus A squared plus Y minus B squared. But, M, P is equal to R, and it's a radius, and therefore, M, P squared is equal to R squared. Therefore, we can in the place of PM or MP, we can substitute R squared. And there's your formula. We call this the center radius formula or standard form of the formula. Let's do an example. Determine the equation of the circle with center, negative 2, 3 and radius 4 units. So now that they gave us that the center is minus 2, 3, we can say that A's value is negative 2 and B's value is 3. Into our new formula, in A's place, we will substitute negative 2. And please note the use of the bracket there, uh, since A was negative. Plus Y minus 3. Now 3 was positive, so it isn't really necessary to use a bracket there. So it becomes y minus 3 squared equals, and r was given as 4 units. And then in r's place, we substitute 4. Then we will say a minus times a minus is a plus, and you end with x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to, and 4 squared is 16. And then you can just stop there. Your formula is in standard form now. Example 2, determine the equation of the circle with center 1, negative 3 and radius root 52 units. Then we can say A's value is 1 and B's value is negative 3. A and B goes with the center's coordinate. Into our formula, in A's place we substitute 1, in B's place we substitute negative 3 and r was given as root 52. Then we will say x minus 1 squared stays, and here a minus times a minus is a plus, so it becomes y plus 3 squared equals, and then when you square a square root, you end with only 52. And that's the equation of your circle. Determine the equation of the circle with center 4, negative 1, and point minus 1, 3 on the circumference. Now, can you see what is different here is in the previous sum, the radius was given with the center. Now, the center is given and then only a point, so there's no radius. We will have to calculate the value for the radius. So, we can start with the center and you can add a, B on the center's coordinate, and there's our equation. Then we can substitute in A's place 4, 
and in B's place negative 1 in with a bracket uh, squared equals r squared. We don't know what r is yet. Then it becomes x minus 4 squared and a minus times a minus is plus 1 squared equals r squared. So now we will work out the value of r and we will take this other point that was given, the point minus 1 and 3, and this point is a coordinate and it consists of an x and a y. Then in x's place we will substitute negative 1 and in y's place we will substitute 3 and we will calculate a value for r squared. We will say minus 1 minus 4 is negative 5 squared plus 3 plus 1 is 4 squared is equal to r squared. Negative 5 squared is 25 plus 4 squared is 16 equals r squared. 25 plus 16 is 41 is equal to r squared. Now, don't take the square root here. You want r squared because the formula has an r squared in. Therefore, the equation is x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 41. Example. Determine the equation of the circle with center M13 and point R negative 4, 6 on the circumference. So the first thing that you will do is in the center's coordinate, you will say A's value is 1 and B's value is equal to 3. Into the formula, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. In a's place, we substitute 1 and in b's place, we substitute 3. So it becomes x minus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to r squared. Then we want to find the value of r squared and this is why they gave us this other coordinate the point r negative 4 6 and that point is a coordinate and it consists of a x and a y coordinate therefore in x's place we substitute negative 4 and in y's place we substitute 6 and we will say minus 4 minus 1 is negative 5 squared plus 6 minus 3 is 3 squared is equal to r squared and then negative 5 squared is 25 plus 3 squared is 9 is equal to r squared 25 plus 9 is equal to 34 is r squared don't take the square root you want r squared therefore the equation for the circle is x minus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 34 Now this example says, determine the equation of the circle with points P, negative 7, negative 1 and R, 1, 5. So can you see that there's no midpoint given here, but PR is a diameter. So we can calculate the midpoint and we will calculate the midpoint by using this formula from grade 11. X of the mid will be x at p plus x at r divide by 2 and y of the mid is y at p plus y at r divide by 2. Remember this formula is not on the formula sheet. So we will substitute x of the mid is the x at p is negative 7 plus the x at r is 1 divide by 2 Minus 7 plus 1 is negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Therefore, the middle, the x coordinate is negative 3. Then the y of the mid, y at p is negative 1 plus the y at r is 5 divided by 2. Minus 1 plus 5 is 4 divided by 2 is 2. Therefore, the y coordinate of the midpoint will be 2. Now, we know the midpoint's coordinate and we can say a's value is negative 3 and b's value 
is 2. Into the formula, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. a's value is negative 3. Please note the use of the bracket there. And b's value is 2. Squared equals r squared. And then we can say a minus times a minus is a plus, And we end with x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to r squared. Then we are back at the previous example where we need to find r squared's value. So we have two coordinates living on that circle and we can cho choose either of the two. I chose the point 1 and 5. And remember this one consists of a coordinate. So the x is 1 and the y is 5. In x Sorry, in x's place you substitute 1, in y's place you substitute 5. And it becomes 1 plus 3 squared is 4 squared, 5 minus 2 is 3 squared is equal to r squared. 4 squared is 16, plus 3 squared is 9, 16 plus 9 is 25 is r squared. Don't take the square root there, you need r squared. Therefore, the formula for the circle will be x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 25. I also want to show you this example. Give the coordinates of the center of each of the following circles. So then I give you the equation there. x minus 4 squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to 25. Then I am actually looking for A and B's value. Therefore, the midpoint will be plus 4 minus 3. The next equation, x plus 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 17. The coordinates for the midpoint will be negative 1 and 5. So A is then the opposite sign there and B is the opposite sign there. And then this one, x squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 10. So now on the x, there's nothing. Therefore, a's value is 0 and b's value there will be plus 2. Now you know everything about the circle with the center m, a, b. Click on the video in the right hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson. There I will discuss how to find the equation in center radius form by completing the square.